हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू डॉक्टर मोहंती मॉडलिंग एंड सिमुलेशन चैनल ऑन यूट्यूब टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू शो यू समथिंग यूनिक एंड डिफरेंट एंड इट इज रिलेशन टू द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड कंसेंट्रेशन इन द एटमॉस्फेयर व्हाट इज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड फॉर प्लांट ग्रोथ एंड हाउ हाउ वी कैन यू नो इन द कॉन्टेक्सट ऑफ क्लाइमेट चेंज हाउ इट प्लेज इम्पोर्टेंट रोल इन प्लांट ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट Currently, as you know, it is around 410 to 412 ppm carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. But in the context of climate change, when you talk about increasing temperature and uh, carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere, we are expecting to, you know, uh, see the increase in carbon dioxide concentration in the mid, uh, you know, uh, century. We can say that 2050, uh, around 600 650 ppm. and uh, the temperature is around 1.5 to 2 degrees celsius so in that context what is that actually the plant is going to see and experience this individual interaction or you may say that combined interaction of temperature and carbon dioxide so as you know carbon dioxide is most important for uh, photosynthesis in presence of you know sunlight energy it gets and uh, plant absorb the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere then through process and through chlorophyll the process of photosynthesis it adds you know food to its different parts you know photosynthesis we call it so i am standing in front of a um, of an experiment where we can see that you know we call it phase uh, free air carbon dioxide enrichment experiment where we have different concentration of um, carbon dioxide as well as temperature uh, combinations where we have suppose uh, free uh, you know ambient temperature conditions where we have carbon dioxide whatever we are experiencing now under temperature and another set where we have you know enhanced carbon dioxide concentration may 550 ppm and uh, 1.5 degree temperature so in these combinations what kind of you know um, stress or the good thing the plant experience as you know carbon dioxide is very much important to the plant growth and development and increase in concentration of carbon dioxide the c3 plants will you know increase um in the photosynthesis and the photosynthesis rate will increase and the biomass production will be huge and you can see that in this ex uh, experiment you can see that this is the border effect but as you go inside that carbon dioxide concentration increasing you can see the luxuriant growth and development uh, of the wheat crop you can see here so there is you know enhancement in the growth as compared to the border effect because it is we can say that it is somewhat ambient but other side that means carbon dioxide is giving the fertilization effect to the crop so like that when you talk about temperature and carbon dioxide concentration sometimes they may be beneficial they may be harmful to the crop because as you know carbon dioxide um, is beneficial and uh, it improves or enhances the plant growth and development but temperature on the other hand increasing temperature you know decreases plant growth and biomass but combination or interaction of carbon dioxide and uh, temperature is is different sometimes you know the the positive impact of carbon dioxide uh, reduce the negative impact of temperature so this experiment uh, having a good wheat crop shows that you know in the future climate change or i would rather say uh, increase in concentration of carbon how the crop will the present day variety whatever we are growing now if we continue to grow this what they will experience in the future so this type of experiment experience will uh, take you to the uh, future um, in the present circumstances and this kind of experiment are very much important uh, to study the impact of climate change that is increasing temperature carbon dioxide on agriculture particularly for crop growth and development so thank you friend uh, thank you for watching hope uh, this gives you wonderful uh, information and have a great day thank you